is that? What can, is you, it? can you smell something? What is it, Bear? It just stopped. My heart's pounding. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. and Mandy, a Canadian Aussie couple that spent the last 18 months traveling as digital nomads through Southeast Asia and Mexico. Now we're in North America having a crack at full-time RV life. Today you're joining us in Big Fork, Montana at Wayfarers State Park on the north end of Flathead Lake, otherwise known as Grizzly Bear Country. They might want us to know that this is uh, bear country. I've seen signs everywhere. When you go into the stores here, there's like bear spray everywhere. Signs of bears. So I did a quick Google search. And apparently Montana has the highest population of grizzly bears in the United States, especially Western Montana, which is where we are. We're in Big Fork, which is on the north side of Flathead Lake. Yeah, I. I don't know if I'm, am I being paranoid when I'm running with our dog, whose name's Bear, looking over my shoulder to see if a bear's gonna run out of the bushes. Is this just something locals are used to? Like you guys don't really think about it. Coming from Australia, we're not really used to having big animals like bears. Like we have snakes and spiders and insects, but grizzly bears, man, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story. And uh, it's kind of freaking me out. We found the entrance to Flathead Lake down here and the sun's out for the first time in what four or five days. It's a little bit cold, it's probably like eight or nine degrees I'd say, but we're gonna go for a swim to start the day. There's no dangerous animals in these freshwater lakes, hey Mandy? Not like Australia. What about grizzly bears? There's a couple of them here. <laughs> yeah, this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Can you get down? You can get down. Come <laughs> on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Unfortunately, Bear's not really a good judge of the temperature because he swims in anything. Crazy. So our cold swim this morning was exactly what we needed. We just had our first hot showers that we've had in I think about five days. It was very much needed. <laughs> We're gonna 
go for a little wander in a second here, but Lloyd's just learning about how we take care of ourselves in grizzly bear country. <laughs> Food storage, which isn't a problem for us, right? No. Everything's in the fridge. And even if it's not, it's in the RV. Yeah. Unless in immediate use, all food and attractants must be stored in a closed hard-sided vehicle or camper, on-site fixed designated food storage locker or bear resistant container. Be bear aware when recreating. Always let someone know where you're going and when you plan to return. Well, who are we going to let know? You tell me, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, we're going. Send someone a text and say we're going for a hike. We'll be back in two hours. <laughs> Four marks, diggings, and torn apart logs and stumps. Mm. It's pretty scary. Hike in a group, keep children close and make your presence known by talking and making noise. Use caution in areas such as berry patches where bears are more likely to be encountered. Do they eat a lot of berries, do they? Yeah. So do black bears eat salmon like, and fish and stuff as well? Mm -hmm. So yeah. they're omnivores, both of them. Yeah. So we don't have any bear spray today, so we're going to go without it. I think we'll be okay. In all my time in Canada, I never saw a grizzly bear and I spent a lot of time outside and lived out of town as well. We're gonna be okay. You saw, you saw black bears though? Yeah, but they're just like, they're not aggressive really. Like They just want to get into your rubbish. Alright, hopefully this is the only bear we see today. <laughs> We're very unprepared. We didn't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> didn't tell anyone we don't have bear spray. It can be loud though. And we have a bear on our side already. Yeah. He actually the good thing is he'll probably smell it. Yeah. And I don't know what, if that'll really help. Just I think he'll bark or get scared. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Hopefully He's barks. Australian. <laughs> if he barks, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm not scared. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just going on a hike. Back in an hour. <laughs> Freshwater lake by surface area in the western United States. That's too many things to be. Yeah. It's not really the biggest. You're not really a. Yeah, you're just trying really hard to be something at that point, are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice lake. Just yeah. own that. <laughs> This is a good idea. Any idea where we're going? <laughs> Alright, just gotta remember the way back. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay guys, before we go any further in the video, we're just gonna give a quick shout out to Timu for making today's free content possible. If you haven't already heard, Timu is the brand new online superstore that's taking the world by storm. In fact, they've recently surpassed both Amazon and Walmart for app downloads, making Timu the number one most downloaded free app in the Apple Store. With over 100 product categories, you can find almost anything you're looking for on Timu's online marketplace, including things like pet supplies, home and kitchen products, electronics, clothing, beauty products, and the list goes on and on and on. You could spend all day on this website. They literally have anything you're looking for. So when you first look at Timu's website, the first thing you'll notice is the extremely low prices, which is what makes Timu stand out from other online retailers. So for example, right now on their website, you can pick up these brand new Lenovo Bluetooth wireless headphones for just $9.99, or even this six pack of men's socks for just $3.49, or check out this charging station for only $16. 
We actually have a special price for our US and Canadian viewers. You can get this charging station for a limited time for only $4.58. That's for new users only if you download the Timu app now. But don't just take our word for it. They've literally got thousands and thousands of reviews on their website from real customers. And if you're like us and you're a little bit wary of purchasing things from new websites, don't worry because there are hundreds of Timu product review videos on YouTube right now. And I don't know, maybe after we buy some stuff, we might have to do like a product review or an unboxing video or something because we're going to order some stuff off Timu and see what it's like. Timu also currently offers free returns and full refunds within 90 days for almost any item purchased on the site, as well as a full refund if the order doesn't match the description, arrives damaged or is delivered late or lost. So they've also got a 24 hour customer service team which is ready to respond at any time, day or night if you have any issues at all. Timu accepts all major credit cards as well as payment plans like Afterpay and Klarna and all payments are handled by reputable third party providers which means Timu does not collect consumer card information or personal information. So right now Timu is actually having a spring sale which means discounts of up to 90% off. Plus, if you use our unique discount code, you will get a further 30% off site-wide on their website. So look, I don't know if you've heard of Timu or not. Uh, if you haven't, this is the first time you're hearing about them. Go and check them out for yourself. Uh, they're super cheap. Check out the reviews. Check out all the product review videos they've done on YouTube. We only heard of them recently and we're going to start shopping on there now because we need a lot of stuff for this RV and given how cheap everything is, we're going to check out Timu and hopefully be able to get a lot of stuff we need. So check the link down below in the description and head over to Timu now before it's too late and you miss out on these crazy, crazy deals. All right, back to the video now. Wait. Wait. All right, no bear sightings. Successfully went on a hike and didn't get eaten by a grizzly. Hey. We're not back yet. We're there not back yet. could be one waiting for us at our campsite. <laughs> Do you think we're like similar to the tourists that go swimming in the ocean at Bondi Beach on that Bondi rescue show and then they have to get saved by the surf lifesavers? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so because I think we're like more mindful and prepared than we I've ever been in my life. <laughs> okay. I think it's just a paranoia thing. It's an Australian not being used to it then. <laughs> yeah, Mandy said she doesn't ever get worried. Growing up in Canada, she never was prepared or even thinking about bears or mountain lions or anything, hey? No, I used to walk around in the forest by myself with like fairy wings on, so I was like a snack. <laughs> and nothing ever happened, so that's why I'm like, nah, nothing's going to ever happen. Fair enough. We're gonna leave Bear in the RV for a little bit to have a little break. He really does not like our drone. <laughs> he had a little mishap with it when we first got him back in Mexico. He tried to attack it and it cut his lip a little bit and now he has like a vendetta against it. So it's really hard to get nice drone footage with him around. But we're gonna leave him here for a bit. scared of the thunder 
I think we're gonna get thunderstorm. It's not really, it said 30% chance of rain, so we're hoping that we don't get more rain. But it, the thunder's really loud. We were just about to go get some firewood and light a fire. It's still pretty, like, blue skies here. Mm -hmm. got bear these CBD tre treats because he has had a bit of anxiety since we've been in the RV and these have been helping a lot actually they're like little steak CBD dog treats they almost look like jellies a little bit but like like a little mini steak <laughs> he, loves um, he really really likes them and usually we've tried to give him CBD before and he wouldn't take it even the treats I feel like he could smell it but he really likes these and they seem to help his anxiety so can you sit can you sit there he is. Good boy. We usually give it to him before we start driving and he'll calm down and he'll actually just lay and have a sleep. Or yeah, when there's bad weather, he definitely gets anxious. So yeah, it's working. Definitely recommend him. This is from Just CBD. Not sponsored, we just really like the product. All right, we got the firewood. Big bundle, dry firewood for seven bucks. So good. Let's get these Kranskis on because I'm hungry again. Yours is better. Yeah. It's part of the fun is making the steak for it. <laughs> nah. like, yeah, you work for it, you know? Everything's bear themed, eh? Hey? Everything. <laughs> this bear is the country. cutest town. Pretty cool. Should we get a cinnamon roll? It's best of all time. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I've never had one, so have I? Oh. I've made them for you, but you've never had one in. 
honey. Oh my god, this is the biggest cinnamon roll I've ever seen. That looks like a cake. That's my first. <laughs> Um, the icing. Usually it's cream cheese icing. It is, yeah. Yeah, is it good? What the size of this thing? Imagine we ordered two. No way. Mm. Delicious. That's unbelievable. Oh, it's so gooey. Taking a massive bite. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. You <laughs> should <to> cry. <laughs> oh my god. You can eat more. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. What do you reckon? Best cinnamon roll ever? It's my first one, so. <laughs> but yeah, it was awesome. <laughs>